Hey everyone, it's Cupquake. Today I wanted to show you guys a really awesome mod called the Industrial Farming Mod. This is created by Luigi and you guys know that I love farming. So this not only helps you farming with your crops, but with your animals. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. This mod introduces four new blocks into the game. So the first block I'm going to cover is the planter. You need cobblestone, a hoe, and redstone to create it. So the recipe looks like this cobblestone all along the edges and in the middle, a hoe on the top and redstone on the bottom. So now you have your planter. And I already have it set up here for you guys. So here's my little farm that I've created. It is sad and lonely and needs crops. So the planter is placed right here, right into, in the center of our farm here. So this is a perfect square farm. And if we right click it, we can see I have some carrots inside of here. So this planter is going to plant carrots for me. And you can adjust your field size right here depending on how big you made your, your field. Uh, it goes from 1 all the way to 81. This field in particular is 49 blocks. So in order for this planter to work, I went ahead and set up some redstone. So um, you can set it up like so and leading to a button. So when I right click this button, carrots are going to be planted for me. So let's go ahead and click that. Boop! And you guys can see carrots are planted. So the cool thing is when you farm your crops uh, and the seeds drop, the planter automatically picks up the seeds and you can continue to gather your crops. So uh, we have a smaller area right here. If we go over here and look, right click, this is a 25 field size and we have some seeds in here. So this is going to grow some wheat for us. Um, so the planter is right underneath the center. So uh, you also, you do need water for your crops to glow, grow and you need to, to uh, I guess, hoe your ground. Uh, before you use the planter. So let's go ahead right click that and we have crops that are going to start growing and I just wanted to show you guys a really small uh, Small field. This is a nine. So this is nine by nine or not nine by nine. I'm sorry nine blocks in, in total uh, So if we go ahead and boop. No Wait, do we have anything inside? We do have potatoes inside. Why isn't this working? Oh, there we go. It worked. It's totally wrong. So there is is the planter. I think it's really awesome and uh, very helpful. Even if you have an automated gathering system, that would make it so much faster. So I really love this item that has been added into the game. We move on. The next item I wanted to show you is called the manager. So this is the manager is made from oak wood planks or just wood planks in general and iron ingots and we're going to place them like so, two on the top and iron ingots all around the edges. And it looks something like this. And you guys can see, I have a manager, some managers set up right here in each of my little farm areas. I have some pigs, sheep, and chickens. So what this is going to do is this is going to feed our animals for us. So uh, depending on which food your animal enjoys, we are going to place uh, wheat inside of here for the sheep and we're going to place carrots for the piggies and we are going to place seeds for the chickens so what this will do is your animals will automatically eat through that you can see one of them is already eaten when it gets closer these two guys have I think only one of them ate <laughs> but when both of them eat through this it'll automatically uh, feed your animals so they can reproduce. So uh, you can see there's a baby chicky who's already been reproduced. So they will automatically reproduce. But you may say to yourself, uh, you know, I need to manage how many animals I produce because my computer gets really laggy if there's too many. So another block that has been added is called the scanner. And the way that you make this is glass, cobblestone, and redstone. Um, let's put this down here and I can show you guys the recipe. So it is made uh, with cobblestone all along the corners, glass like a cross, and redstone in the center. So this is the scanner. That is the scanner recipe. Uh, you guys can see I have one set up right here already. Uh, let's go ahead and right click it. 
So now what this does is scans the amount of animals. You can detect the children, which is the baby animals, uh, protect the children or ignore the children and you have the animal counter here and the area which you want the scanner to scan. So I'm going to have this scanner scan, I'm just going to have it scan a large area just for my whole farm so you can adjust the animal count here and my computer is pretty good so we're not going to uh, worry about lag. So let's go ahead and go back. You can see here that our sheep why, why, are they, uh, why are they losing their fur automatically? Another block that has been added, which is the last and final block, is the clipper. And the clipper is made with shears, cobblestone, and redstone. So let's go ahead and show you guys the recipe for this last item. So the clippers go on, or the shears go on top, cobblestone all along the sides in the center, and redstone on the bottom. So that is the clipper. And I have my clipper right here on the floor. And what it does is when sheep walk, walk over it, it automatically shears them, it, it shaves them. So we don't have to use shears on our sheep. So it does it automatically for us and all we have to do is just collect their fur. Um, so this is activated through redstone as well. I don't know why it's shearing them, but if I, I have some redstone set up here, you know, it's very sloppy. just wanted to show you guys the gist of it. And I'm using a lever to turn it on. So when the sheep walk over this, they will become sheared, naked, and I will have a ton of wool. You can see it's already activated and is ready to clip. Let's go ahead and spawn some sheep so you guys can see it in action. So let's spawn some sheep. Spawn you right on top of that. So. If you would like, I think it would be really awesome to set up a sort of assembly line. You can see our farm is well in the making. Um, piggies are in love. And, oh, where did our, oh, chicken underground. The sheep are reproducing at a rate that I cannot, cannot count. And we can see we already have a zombie infection with this villager right here. <laughs> But that is the mod, and I hope you guys enjoy this. I think it's really awesome and helps, very helpful for farming if that is what you guys are into. I'm sure you guys could come up with some really awesome builds for this, uh, like a factory type thing for your sheep and piggies and chickens. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy this. Be sure to leave a rating and a comment if you guys. Uh, enjoy this and if you're not subscribed be sure to subscribe. I am Cupquake. Thank you guys for watching. See y'all later